Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, this is just going to be a quick video of another plane that I've started working on um, alongside the uh, FF Supersonic. I'm also working on a new version of the FF35. This will be the FF35 V2. Um, this is a plane I drew probably at least five years ago. I just never got around to um, putting it together. So this is the first test fit of the plane. This plane will be made um, so you can have either a prop motor on the back or I'm also designing it so you can put a 70 millimeter EDF inside um, like I said this is just the first test fit so I did already come across things I need to adjust a little bit um, <laughs> what you draw on CAD doesn't always totally translate to uh, the way the foam board folds and stuff like that so I think I need to put a little bit more um, bulkheads inside to hold the shape of the fuselage so everything lines up a little bit better but I think this is uh, came out pretty good so I think I'm going to probably make this one here into a, a prop version so I can do some test flights to get some basic um, flight information just to see how the overall plane performs. So I did try to make this one a little more 3D, a little more scale looking. You know, again, it's not, you know, 100% scale, um, but it is, you know, pretty cool looking, I think, and it does resemble the F-35 pretty good. Here's a look at the back of the plane. Um, I've got a little simulated jet motor nozzle out the back and in the back here you can see I've got a straight through shot that's where the 70 millimeter EDF will go I will also make a mount uh, to basically put a prop back here um, depending on what size prop you put on the back you probably have to trim these um, elevators down a little bit so it'll fit I think on the initial test run I'm probably either going to use a six or seven inch prop so like I said, I probably will have to trim back those elevators a little bit to get it to fit in between here. So, you know, it won't be super extensive, but it'll be a little bit uh, more trim than what will be on the EDF version. Some things I still have left that I got to figure out is, you know, where the battery placement will be, the hatches and stuff like that. So that's part of the uh, development phase of this plane. So. Uh, just keep a watch out. I will be doing that, you know, in the coming months or in the coming weeks, I should say, in uh, more videos to come. As I mentioned earlier, I'll probably just put a prop on this plane here, the one I built already. Um, I'll try and hack into here, you know, put a battery compartment and see where everything will fit and then get it kind of adjusted. That'll help me um, come up with a better plan, you know, when the final plans come out to put the hatch for the battery and the location of the receiver and everything else. Um, first off, I'm probably just going to do a quad elevon setup, you know, and just do a basic bank and yank design. So I'll just use two servos and I'll connect both the elevator and the ailerons um, to the servos, to the same servos. So they'll all four function as elevons. Later on, as the design progresses, you know, I'll probably separate out the ailerons and the elevator and possibly even put rudders on it. Here's a quick look at the bottom of the plane. Again, I tried to be a little more scale, you know, with the way the EDF will come out the back. Um, it's kind of slotted in the back, you know, slants down almost, you know, kind of like the real plane. But, you know, again, it's not 100% scale. I always just say my planes are inspired by the real planes. You know, they're not meant to be 100% scale looking. The air ducts will have a pretty straight through shot. Um, the wing does go all the way through, so I'm not sure how much of a disturbance that will cause for the airflow going through. But I do plan on putting a cheater hole on the bottom also to get more airflow into the EDF when I build the EDF model. Okay guys, let me know what you guys think of the design so far. Um, also, if you want, let me know what type of planes you want to see me design in the future. Um, put your suggestions down in the comments below. Okay guys, um, that's pretty much, you know, the quick look at the new FF35 V2 that I'm working on. Um, look for it coming in the uh, coming weeks. Should have some flight videos. Um, maybe if I'm lucky, I can get the electronics in it this weekend, but if not, it should be in a week or two.